Okay, welcome back to the Drafty Garage. This video, we're gonna focus on numbers, on the results, on how much it costs to run a heat pump for 24 days in November in the UK. It's 228 kilowatts in, that's electrical power, and 846 kilowatt hours out. So, 228 kilowatts of electric in generates 846 of kilowatts of heat out. So that's for heating hot water and for heating the house. Well, how does that compare to a gas boiler maybe you've got? So if you've got a gas boiler at home installed in the last 10 years, that's gonna be a condensing high efficiency gas boiler. And that is at best 90% efficient. So 90% of all that energy coming into the house, you would have turned into heat. 10% gets wasted through gases and exhausts and horrible stuff that comes out of a gas boiler. Well, hang on a second. That is 370% efficient. So it's taking one unit of energy and turning it into 3.7 of heat. And heat pumps are the only system that can do that. I say it turns water into wine because it's the cheapest way of heating a house. But what does that mean in pounds and pence? Well, we use Octopus Go here, which is a dual tariff system. So we pay seven and a half P off peak for our electric between half past midnight and half past four. And that is the only time we have used that energy because we're able to store it as well. So behind me here, there are two Tesla Powerwalls, 27 kilowatts of storage. But we charge those batteries up using the cheap Alecchi overnight and we run the heat pump overnight. So we actually heat all of the hot water using off-peak electricity and we also heat the house in those four hour period as well. Heats the fabric of the house, makes it less of a big boost you need to do in the morning just to get it back up to a comfortable temperature. So what does that mean in pounds and pence? Well, Today is the 24th of November, so for 24 days worth of heating and hot water from the heat pump in the UK, and it's not been particularly warm, we've had a few cold nights so far, 17 pounds and 10 pence to heat this house. Quite a big house, 17 pounds and 10 pence. Now, that is the return on the investment you need to work out when you're looking at heat pumps. Uh, the heat pump that's been installed here is part of a government trial, so that was free, but those batteries there, the solar panels on the roof of which we've got 30, and for electric, it'll be just about over 100 pounds, including VAT, it'll be about 112 pounds. If you're in a position where you've got outside space to install a heat pump and your house is already well insulated, so you've got good double glazing, loft insulation, all the rest of that stuff, heat pumps are compelling right now. I would suggest that a heat pump in an average house is gonna cost about, eight to 10,000 pounds to install, the government will pay right now the first 5,000 pounds. So if you can do it and make the investment, the repayments just pay for themselves in, in a short number of years. And the rate that the electric prices are going up, it's gonna even shorten that return on investment period.